Hi, I'm Ed Karn of Sound Wellness. Now, some time ago, I put up a video, three things that you need to know in order to play a Tibetan singing bowl. And since I put up that video, I've received a number of comments in terms of which direction is really the correct direction in which to play your bowl. Now, if you're following a traditional Buddhist practice, clockwise is for the benefit of all beings, which is very much in keeping with the Buddhist philosophy. Counterclockwise is for one's own benefit, which is somewhat contrary to that philosophy. So if you're playing the bowl in a strict Buddhist practice, then by all means, play in a clockwise direction. It's more correct. In North America, however, in the shaman traditions, clockwise is used for bringing energy in, for energizing yourself, which is really a very personal thing, right? And that, that's kind of contrary to the, the Buddhist philosophies. Playing a bowl counterclockwise is used for clearing or releasing, for unwinding. Okay, So which direction is really correct? Well, both are correct. I tend to play a bowl in both directions, and I allow body wisdom to help me choose what I really need. So sometimes I'll play clockwise, sometimes I'll play counterclockwise. So which one is right? Well, it's a matter of choice when you're playing. Observe how you respond to the sound to the motion of playing the bowl when you're playing in either direction and choose the one that's appropriate for you. Now, sometimes the bowl will play stronger in one direction than in the other, and that could simply be muscle memory. It could simply be that you're left-handed versus right-handed. It could be the way the bowl is responding to the playing stick. But at the end of the day, we need to ask ourselves, why are we playing a bowl, right? What, what are the benefits of playing the bowl? Well, one of the, the most immediate benefits that we've seen is it brings a sense of calm. And we've exhibited at trade shows all across North America. And one of the things that we see all the time when people are playing a bowl is people will come in tense and tight. And after 30 seconds of playing the bowl, the shoulders relax, the face softens, it brings that sense of calm and it's almost immediate. It quiets the mind. It's really hard to hold on to negative thoughts while you're playing and holding a Tibetan bowl. It dissolves stress within minutes. It can help you meditate. It can help with clearing space, and we use this when we travel to clear our hotel rooms. It can help tune and align the chakras. And for any of those purposes, direction doesn't matter. It's the result. I'm never going to tell somebody that if they can't play a bowl in a clockwise direction, they're just not allowed to play the bowl. That just doesn't make any sense. Now, for those of you who know me, you'll know that I'm an engineer. And as an engineer, I see things from a little different perspective. And if I look at clockwise, and I, I drew a circle on, on here of a clockwise direction, right? But clockwise is really a two-dimensional construct. If I look at it from the opposite direction, from the back of the sheet, I'm now looking at a counterclockwise direction. And when I play the ball in a similar way, if I'm playing it in this direction, this is clockwise. And as I continue to play that ball in a clockwise direction, it now appears that I'm playing in a counterclockwise direction. We live in a three-dimensional world. And some believe a four or even five-dimensional world. And in that context, clockwise and counterclockwise really have very little meaning. So if this is clockwise, what direction is this when I'm playing the bowl? So think about that. So yes, if you're following a traditional Tibetan practice, by all means, follow the traditions, play in a clockwise direction. But if you're playing for yourself or even others, if you're playing to realize some of the many benefits of the bowl, it doesn't matter. Feel what Play what feels right for you. Now, I want to just leave you with one final thought. It is important to approach the use of the bowls, particularly the old Tibetan bowls like this, with a sense of reverence for the potential within them to be powerful spiritual tools. There is huge potential for spiritual transformation and growth when you're playing the bowls. Now, I invite you to leave your comments below, and I wish you health and harmony.